Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vegeta Studio and today I'll share with you a free effect that we've just added to our free starter pack. This is a shadow, glow and background control that can help your title or image stand out from your background video. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download the free starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. You will get the zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you a folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the TFX files, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work. So select all the font, double click on them, and start the installation process. Then you can go over to the TFX file and double click on the TFX file to install it. If you've already installed the pack in the past, it will ask you to overwrite it. And if that's your first time, it will ask you to install. Just select either one of those. Quick note, if that's not your first time installing the pack, and you installed that pack in the past, there is no need to reinstall the font. It's only if that's your first time installing the free starter pack. Now let's jump into Resolve. Inside of DaVinci Resolve, you can find it this time not under Titles, but under effect because it's going to be a drag and drop effect. We're going to go over to effect and then here you will find the free starter pack 2.0 and in there you will see the shadow glow and background effect. So first let's bring some footage in our timeline and then I'm just going to bring a title right above it. So I'm going to go back to the title section, Visitor Studio, then we're going to just scroll down to the free starter pack and I'm going to use maybe one of all basics. So let's use, for example, here the cinematic one. So I'm gonna bring that in and bring that right above our footage. Now, if we play it, as you can see, it's good. We are able to read it properly, but it could stand out a lot more. Uh, so first off, what could we do directly on that title? Well, I'm gonna write, for example, here DaVinci Resolve. We can then increase the size to make it uh, easier to read. But that's about it. Now there will be three ways in my opinion to make that title stand out. We could use some shadow to make it pop. We can use a dim background or we could use a glow. That's something that we've pre-built in a lot of our assets. So that was built in the past, but sometimes that was dragging a bit the performances or uh, you want to be able to use those directly on an image and or on a title that doesn't have those built in. So that's why we've created a separated effect that gives you control over the shadow, the glow and the background. So let's assume that that wasn't built on this simple text. We can then just go back to our effect and then here we can then drag the shadow glow and background directly on our title. It will just bring here that effect in the effect tab and we now have control over the shadow, the glow and the background. In my opinion, the most efficient way to make it pop is gonna be to use the background. Right now by default, the opacity is at zero and the more we're gonna increase that background, the dimmer the footage that is behind it gonna become. So here we can do maybe something like 0.5 and already we are seeing a pretty big difference. As you can see, it's helping the text stand out a lot more. Another way to use that background will be not to dim the footage, but to create a vignette. To do that, I can easily reduce here the width, the height. Then we're gonna here increase the corner radius to have some sort of rounded shape. And then we're gonna click invert. And now we're gonna play around with the soft edge and increase that. And as you can see, it's darkening everything around except the center of the footage with the text. So that helped to refocus the attention of the viewer here in the center. But we're losing readability here with the text. We would like to still keep some dark element to help that text pop a little bit more. So that's where the shadow could come in. Here, I could just go to the shadow and then we're gonna increase the shadow strength. And that's just gonna bring a dark area right behind the text to help that text stand out. So here, if I increase it to the maximum, we can now see some shadow shape here in the background. I'm just gonna decrease the blur to the minimum right now so we can see what we are doing with that text. You can adjust the drop angle, which is basically the position of that text relative to the original text and then the drop distance, which is uh, same the distance between that text. Right now, I don't want it to be too far. So I'm going to do here the drop distance around there. And then I'm going to adjust the angle to be around there. And now I'm going to increase the blur to get something that is a lot softer, but that allow our text to pop a lot more. 
So right now by using the background and the shadow, it's easier to read our text and it's helping to make it pop from the background. But what if we want to give it an extra boost? We can use the glow for that. So here I'm gonna start by increasing the gain and then I can play around with the glow size. The glow size is gonna be the spread of that glow. So here we can reduce it and having that glow being very concentrated into the text or we can spread it and having it being an afterglow, for example, of a nail. Then if you want to reduce the overall intensity of your effect, you can always decrease the blend, which gonna basically act as an opacity slider for the effect. In our case, I want to decrease the glow and make it uh, fairly concentrated in our text. And then here I'm gonna decrease the gain a little bit. It's gonna be fairly subtle, but that's gonna help our text pop a lot more and make more interesting in my opinion. So again, to show you all those three elements can help you elevate the look of your titles. Here is the text without anything, which is slightly harder to read and doesn't pop really much. Then here is the text with the background that help us, you know, read the text a lot better already. Then here is the background as a vignette plus the shadow to help us read it better. And then here is everything with the glow on top of it to give it that extra kick. As you can see with that before and after, that can really help you read your text better and elevate the overall look of your video. Now, lastly, as I've mentioned, that's not working only for the titles, but also for any image media like icons, logo, and other images. So here I'm gonna just drag that onto the DaVinci logo, for example. And then here, as you can see, we can now add that glow effect to the logo. We can play around with the glow size, uh, etc. We can do the same thing here with the shadow and give uh, that shadow edges to the DaVinci Resolve logo. We can also, for example, here displace our DaVinci Resolve logo and then use the background, but only partially. So to do that, I can go here to background, increase that opacity slider, and then we can adjust the overall position, adjust the soft edge, and then increase the overall height. And now as you can see, it's affecting only a part of the image and that's not affecting the rest of our footage. So there is really a lot that you can do with that tool. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in a comment what kind of video you would like to see next, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at Video Studio dot com.